Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here to showcase a utility from Matt Black, um, otherwise known as Jiggery Pokery, called the Shelob um, Audio Bypass Splitter. And uh, he's worked very hard on this device, and it's a very um, basic utility, and I know he's got some other utilities that he's going to put together for us as well. But this one I just wanted to showcase because it's the first one out the door. Um, he created it and he did a really wonderful job with it. And it's a really nice little compact utility. What it does is it takes the old um, audio merger splitter, the spider audio merger splitter, and um, it basically forgets about the, the merger side of things and it only takes the splitter side of things and it creates um, four different splitters. You got channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. Um, so if you look at the audio splitter, merger splitter here, on the back you'll see that it's got four uh, audio inputs that can be merged into one audio output, and it's got one audio input that can be split into four audio outputs. Well, this, the Shelob, only works on this part of the splitter, um, or the spider, and it basically is this splitter section, but recreated in, into four different um, spider audio splitter so you can basically get four in one device so that's the the basic bare bones uh, what it's all about uh, this uh, merger side that's not here not yet but I know he's working on something and I know he's gonna come out with something that's similar but for a merger so let's just delete that device um, okay so getting back to the uh, the she log here if you're looking on the back you've got an input so you can take an audio input and put it in here you got a pass through, uh, which I'll get to in a second, and then you've got four different audio splits that can come from that audio input and get sent out to wherever you want to send it to. Then it's got the same thing recreated three more times for a total of 16 um, outputs and uh, four inputs. Um, so that's essentially the way it works. It also has a couple of other little nifty things that the that the spider splitter doesn't have. It has a fade knob, um, which allows you to create the fades, um, either switching between, let's say, channel A and channel B, or um, if you want to have any sound fade in and then any sound fade out, that's where this fade knob comes in. And you can go from zero to 100 milliseconds in the white section here, or actually is it let's see yeah i believe yeah it's zero to 100 milliseconds in the white section and then the green section goes from 100 milliseconds to 20 seconds or 20,000 milliseconds so you've got a 20 second fade in fade out um and because you have this fade knob it actually works really handy as a crossfader if you're trying to crossfade between two audio sources um, or if you're trying to crossfade between two audio splits, um, you can basically crossfade any two of these um, channels or a combination of channels or um, combinations using the pass through. You can create groups of, of uh, effects and whatnot, and you can crossfade between them. So that's the really nice thing about Shelob. That's one of the things that I like the best. Um, the stripe function when it's off, basically each of these channels works independently. If you turn it on by switching it downward, what you can do is you can send one audio input, let's say you send one audio input into here, channel one, and then you can basically, you don't need to send the audio into channel two or into channel three or into channel four. It basically will allow you to stripe the entire, um, the entire 16 audio outputs using one audio source input. So you basically, it just makes things a lot easier. So you can, you can basically just have one audio input on channel one, and then you can use anywhere from A to P in terms of the audio outputs, and it'll all be sourcing from that one uh, channel one input. That's the way Stripe works. Um, the way the pass-throughs work is if you send something, um, let's say if you want to create, essentially pass will allow you to create groups of splits. So you can have four different effects let's say, sent to A to D, and you can have four different effects sent from E to H, and then you can use these pass-through switches to turn off or on all four of these groups. That's the essential bare bones of how this thing works. So, what I've done is, I'm um, gonna delete this. Uh, what 
I'm going to do, I have a sound source here. Okay, and I'm going to show you just how to basically create a very simple fade in, fade out using that fade knob. And I'm going to do it in a combinator. So let's go into um, create or actually utilities combinator. And then underneath that, I'm just going to very simply create a shelob. I'm going to pull this down a little so you can see it. Okay, so now we've got the audio going in. Um, essentially, what we want to do is we want to send the audio input in. So we can delete this. Uh, delete device and tracks. Delete selected only. Okay, because this is going to work as an effect. So we're going to take this Thor audio. We're going to send it in to the combi input. Then we're going to send this to the devices, to the channel 1 input. And then we're going to take um, channel A and we're going to send that to the output. And then this output is going to go back into your mix channel. This is the probably the easiest combinator I've ever created, but this will showcase how to use it as a fade in, fade out device. So let's flip to the front again. Now, um, when you first install one of these devices, the Shelob, everything's going to be turned off. So you actually have to turn it on to get things to run properly. So what we want to do is we want to have channel A on. And that's basically going to be the uh, the channel that the audio is coming out of. Um, then I'm going to take this rotary one. I'm going to call this the fade time. I'm going to take button one, and this is going to be the actual fade in or out. Okay. Now let's open up the programmer. Let's take the Shelob. And if you look, the nice thing about Shelob is on rotary one we're going to use the fade time. But if you look at it. There's no receive in for this, and actually I can't really show you, so hang on. All right, now I can show you. There's no actual um, in receive note, so you can't really use any MIDI to control the switches, but you can program them in the combinator, and you can have a matrix um, program the switches on or off if you send it through the combinator CV inputs, because there's no CV on the device either. Uh, but don't be deterred, there's, there's still a lot of functionality to this. So let's take the fade, okay, so that means that this is going to now, um, pro is be, it's going to be programmed to automate the fade knob here using this knob, and then the fade in, fade out, we're going to simply go on button one here, and we're going to use channel A to be off or on. Um, by default we want it to stay on, so we're going to have this go on, and then this is going to go off, so that when it's on, it's fading out, and when it's off, it's fading in. So that's essentially how it's going to work. If you want to do the opposite, um, which I think we probably want to do, because you're probably going to want to have to start with a fade out. So let's do it that way. Okay, fade out. Let's do this off. Do that on. Okay, so now when we listen to the uh, effect, uh, let's start it. Off. Okay, so it's starting off, so if you play it, you shouldn't hear anything. Right, so we're not hearing anything, even though it is running, right? And we've got our fade time turned up a little bit, so it's it's going to fade in rather slowly. So um, now if you hit the, hit the button, it fades in. Press the button again, and it fades out. And in this way, you can basically create a fade in or a fade out of your entire mix. Um, all you would need to do is put this inside, a, basically take this combinator and um, put this at the very last uh, part of your mix when it's going to the master uh, master effects. And that, that will allow you to fade your song out. Or you can put it at the beginning of your song and allow it to fade in. So either way, but it's going to have to come before your last signal in your in your song. So that's essentially um, Shelob in a nutshell. Um, I am going to get to some more aspects of how to do it, but I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to you know jump into another video. And also um, come to Reason101.net and I am going to make some of these uh, combinators that I've created available because I have created a, a few different combinators for Shelob. So I'm going to make them available so that you can take a look and see all the different routings that that routing possibilities that, that you can uh, 
you can use in your own projects. So that's it for now. That's just a very brief introduction to how, how to use this device. I hope that helps a little bit. And uh, come back and I'll uh, give you another video down the road. Thanks for watching.